You're looking at live pictures from Hong Kong. Protesters are camped out in areas around the Legislative Council building and they are demonstrating against a proposed law allowing extradition to mainland China. The situation we know turned violent this afternoon as clashes erupted between police and protesters. Hong Kong's chief executive Carrie Lam has responded to the mass demonstrations during an exclusive interview with local broadcaster TVB. She insisted that the bill will not be shelved. What now, Professor Ho Lok Sang is an adjunct professor at Lingnan University. He joins us now from Hong Kong. Professor, thanks for joining us. You know, I want to get your uh, thoughts on today's um, this this protest that's happening right now because we know that you opposed the Occupy movement, and this was back in just 2014. And some are saying that this is a hangover from that um, Occupy movement. So, what are your thoughts about this current protest? Yeah, I, I, I agree that this is a hangover from that. And uh, I ab objected to Occupy Central because it uh, is going to lead to this uh, slippage um, in the rule of law. And uh, by that, I mean people will have less respect, you know, for the rule of law and for the rights of other people, you see. And uh, in such Occupy um, <coughs> actions, uh, people have been derived of, uh, uh, from, from the access of the, to the use of these uh, thoroughfares, these roads, you know, and uh, great inconvenience is uh, uh, caused. But of course, I understand that they, they think that they, there's a, a good reason for, for their actions, but um, I do understand uh, the, the thoughts behind it. And in particular, in this particular instance, I understand that they are concerned about about the legal system on the mainland. But uh, I have to emphasize that uh, actually the rule of law on the mainland is not as bad as it looks. Uh, you have to look at uh, two kinds of uh, crimes. If it's, if it's political crimes, maybe there are problems. But if it is not political crimes, then um, uh, after these uh, uh, judicial reforms which have taken place since uh, to, uh, to, uh, 2012, uh, when a uh, white paper on judicial reform uh, was uh, released, uh, much progress has been made on the mainland. And uh, even to the extent that uh, World Economic Forum had ranked mainland China's uh, judicial independence, okay, at uh, rank number four, 45 out of 137. And I think and I think that's not bad. That, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, actually pretty good. Uh, and uh, mainland China was actually ahead of uh, Taiwan, Korea, Italy, Greece. So uh, when it comes to non-political crimes, I think there is no fear about uh, uh, injustice. I think they are doing what they can. But, uh, um, and that is why I uh, agree that uh, the SR government is right in uh, 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 excluding political crimes uh, from the list of uh, crimes uh, that are uh, eligible for extradition. Uh, but people still do not trust uh, that, that, the, uh, that, that the government can actually do that because uh, uh, they worry that uh, some political crime, some some political crimes may be hidden, disguised in the form of non-political crimes. And that is why I uh, had proposed that the SAL government should uh, uh, devise some kind of measures so that uh, 
um, uh, people's fears can be uh, allayed. And um, I myself had proposed that maybe you can form some kind of jury uh, from, from Hong Kong people. So if they uh, look at the matter and think and agree that this is, has nothing political about it, then they, uh, the particular person can be extradited. And I had even proposed a, a rather high threshold so that uh, only uh, more than two thirds of the jury agreeing that this is uh, fine, then the person can be extradited. Um, uh, and uh, some other people, uh, uh, yeah, including uh, Professor uh, Chan Hong Yi from University of Hong Kong, had proposed uh, other ideas like Hong Kong uh, people uh, can be tried in Hong Kong. And I think the government should uh, uh, actually. I'll take heed. Mm. Yeah. Be that as it may, I, I mean, today we've been seeing uh, pictures of, of uh, clashes between protesters and, and the police as well. What's your take on how uh, the Hong Kong authorities have been handling this process? Yeah, um, I understand that uh, the Hong Kong police uh, have been trained to be very restrained uh, in terms of using uh, force. Um, but it is uh, quite... Uh, uh, sad to see that they had to use uh, tear gas and had to fire some some shots. They they uh, like uh, um, um, uh, these are not the uh, you know the uh, what. Um, so, Professor, do you rubber, agree that the Hong Kong shots, police you know? are not doing a good job at handling the situation? Do you agree that they're not doing a good job at handling the situation? It's, uh, I I cannot comment on that because uh, 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 you know it's really very difficult for them to handle such a, a massive protest. Very very difficult, and uh, um, and some of the protesters are on to violence, you see, and uh, and they are blocking the streets, they're blocking the roads, and uh, cars cannot be pa cannot pass through, and some cars are trapped in, in the crowd and and. and uh, cannot get home, and uh, some ambulances will have difficulty uh, bringing patients to hospitals and so on. You know, things things yeah. of that sort happen, and so they have a duty of clearing the the, the crowds. And uh, uh, but uh, they just won't, won't less listen. You see, so so you need to use force to some extent. But uh, uh, how you can use the force ju judiciously so that uh, uh, people will say, oh, okay, this is the right, uh, right level of force. It's not so easy to determine, you know, from, right, exactly. from, uh, that from is, an outsider's point of view. That, that is exactly what is happening right now. There's a play between um, the protesters and the police. And thank you so much, uh, Professor, for speaking to us. Professor Ho Lok San, Professor at Lingnang University.